Hello everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back. Today we're gonna take a look at the Itaka, a shotgun available for the US forces. And first of all, I wanna say that the shotgun has been improved from insurgency. It's way deadlier, and also we don't have any armor in Day of Infamy, so most of the time a close to medium range is a one shot, one kill. Also, many players run around with bolt action rifle, which gives the shotgun a huge advantage. With the Itaka you have 9 shots before you need to reload. And remember that you can reload one shell and then shoot if somebody pops up. So you don't need to reload all the 9 shells before you're able to shoot again. And many players are saying that the Itaka is very powerful. And I believe this is true because the gameplay changed a lot from Insurgency. As I said before, in Insurgency you can wear armor. The armor can block and be very effective against shotguns if you're not using slugs in insurgency because the normal shells have very low penetration power so you can take a full blast to the chest and still walk around still survive here in day of infamy the only armor we have is a radio you can have on your back which can take one or two low caliber bullets nothing more than that also in insurgency every class has a scope available so you can go with a 2x scope, 4x scope, if you are a sniper you can take uh, a 7x scope. But here, the only class which has a scope is a sniper. So in Day of Infamy scopes are very limited and this reduces the number of long range engagements. So that's why the Itaka becomes more viable. Also, if you want to be a nightmare for enemy players at close and medium range, if you learn to use hip fire with a shotgun and be good with it enemy players won't have a chance against you because while you're hip firing you're moving faster than when you're aiming downside so when exchanging bullet being able to move from side to side faster sometimes can save your life because the enemy will miss you especially if they have a bolt action and talking about bolt action some enemy with a bolt action rifle pops up in front of you and you can hip fire them and not aiming downside you have a huge advantage because most of the time with a bolt action rifle you want to aim downside you wouldn't want to use hip fire because it's very bad and this is a huge advantage because it gives you more time to shoot the enemy before they will be able to shoot you so if you plan on using the shotgun train yourself to use the hip fire and uh, you will notice a huge difference. Not talking about how much visibility you gain just by using hip fire. Also, when using shotguns in any video game, it's a good thing to always have some kind of cover next to you because between each shot, you want to hide in that cover. For example, you see somebody with an MP40, a full automatic SMG coming to you. You shoot them, Maybe you hit them with two shells in the leg and they're still alive. You need to wait before your next shot while they can go full automatic and kill you. What you want to do is take cover and then pop out when your next shot is ready. So guys, that's it for the Hitaka. I'm very happy because every time I see shotguns, which are a viable option if you want to go with a shotgun as your primary weapon, I'm always happy because the feeling when killing with someone with a shotgun is always great and also it makes enemy players very angry because they instantly die and <laughs> it's funny to see their reaction. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.